Here we go. Day one, Lake Champlain. Gonna be uh, a little breezy today by the looks of it. This morning's all right, but there's forecasting for the wind to pick up pretty good. I got a long day today, so it's nice to have a long day on your first day. No stress really, you know, for the first <laughs> five or six hours. And then once you start getting closer, you're like, eh. but we'll see. Uh, goal is 20 plus pounds. Every day of practice for this tournament, I've had 20 plus pounds. So hopefully today stays the same or better. Uh, I know what happens though. I mean, it's a tournament. I mean, you you never catch what you caught in practice, you know, all the time. Sometimes you do, but uh, there'll probably be some boat pressure in my area. It's kind of becoming a well or known area on Lake Champlain, so we'll see what happens there. But either way, smallmouth, and they they're still gonna bite. So excited for that, excited to get the day started. And uh, I think we're about 80 something, so we got a little bit. Doing at 4.30, so a long day today. Yeah, ready to get after it, ready to go put the baby Z2 to work and uh, see what happens. Oh yeah, sorry about no, that. No, sorry. I forgot, I forgot that rag in the <laughs> damn truck. Even good love feels like drugs Even good nights get you high I don't mean why, but it's so high Even bright lights got a dark side Even good love feels like drugs Even good times get you high Little bit lost, but it's all right Even bright lights got a dark side Pleasure is pain, and the pain is pleasure Grass won't grow with the rain and weather Flipping coins for luck and we're just trying to ease the suffering Broke our heart first in my own got shattered Never one to you really ever mattered World keeps on turning And we all keep learning that Even good love feels like drugs Even good nights get you high Little bit wild but it's all right Even bright lights got a dark side Even good love feels like drugs What's up, guys? Well, if you're watching this video, just know that Jay and Alex are somewhere out there. Eh, somewhere. Don't know. They're on a bag. Plain and simple. But, you know, as cameramen, like us. What's up, Blake? Uh... Yeah, we're living life in the water. You know, to to be one with the fish, uh, you got to get in with them. So that's what we're doing. Coming into these last three events, everybody said, watch for Jay Shakurik, and dude, you are doing <laughs> your job to put yourself in contention to sneak up and steal that title at the last event of the season. How you feeling about that? Oh, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Man, I love fishing in New York. I love catching big smallmouth, and uh, today was a trying day, actually. I mean, it was, it was pretty tough until noon, and then I caught that big one and then things just finally started to roll and uh, I got in the groove finally, you know, today the big waves and everything were a hassle, but uh, I'm very happy with my weight today. And yeah, Angler of the Year, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's possible, but there's still a lot of fishing left to do. A lot of fishing left to do and I can't wait to watch it go down. Pulling when down, and like it like sets or whatever, I grab my rod and then like I just turn and it's like 10 feet right here, there's a group of five of them. And then it was just like another four pounder, and I was they like, were biting. That's the difference. Like out on that, they would not eat. And I was like, what is going on? Did you see any big schools on the break? Or? Yeah. Like right before you came, dude. I was on a school like eighty of them. 
and they wouldn't eat. What's up guys, just ordered three pizzas. I'm gonna eat them all. Stay tuned. What's it called, Big Sal's? Big Sal's Pizza hooked us up with three pizzas. Not really hooked us up, but Big Sal's making us three pizzas. What, what'd you get, what kind? No, 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 no. Alex is hooking us up with pizzas. Yeah, I was gonna eat. I was gonna eat two of the pizzas, and then Alex is hooking us up. Alex is hooking us up. All right. Man, man, man was straight cash money on the lake today. That's right. He's got that ambition for that cash. Yep. Well, we had a good day today. Had twenty-two pounds and some odd number. I think eleven ounces. It's a pretty awesome day. Uh, Nothing to really complain about. I did not really catch the right fish to start the day, which was pretty frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. And I also had a lot of big fish look at my bait and not eat it. The baby Z2. I don't know what the deal was, but finally got on a good roll and I caught a five pound four ounce, or I think at like two o'clock ish, 2.30 which ended up being big bass of the day. Kind of crazy. And caught another four and a half after that, another four and a half. Next thing you know, I had what I had and then I just got back to the ramp because it got really nasty out there. And uh, yeah, so we'll see if they let us fish tomorrow. Uh, it's looking like the weather is gonna be pretty crazy and this place gets pretty nasty in a hurry. I mean, on the way in, there was four footers, three to, yeah, three footers, four footers coming into the dock. I mean, it was kind of crazy, but we'll see. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen. All I know is we're gonna give her heck and uh, see if we can catch the same weight caught today. And if we do, we do, we don't, we don't, but it's gonna be fun regardless. Day's canceled, I guess. So, I'll go out for day. Th I guess they're extending the entire tournament to Monday. So, top 10 fishes on Monday. But yeah, today is canceled because of wind and bad weather, which I'm perfectly fine with because I didn't really feel like fishing in three footers all day. So, Tomorrow looks a lot better, we'll fish then. I don't know what they're gonna do about, because we have back-to-back -back tournaments, St. Lawrence next week, so we'll see what they do about the the practice and everything there, because they push this a day back, because they still want to do four days of the event, so we'll see what happens, but yeah, this is all right, so now we just gotta figure out what we're gonna do today. This lovely mosquito-infested house. Alex walking out of his room. Day two is canceled. Did you guys hear? <laughs> Breakfast. Breakfast time. Finally taking out the trash after. Yeah, don't worry, it's a care for you. Thanks. What's up boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? We're currently at Dunkin' Donuts. Today was canceled due to severe weather. Jay and Alex are off having breakfast with a couple of the other anglers, so we're stopping there. Pretty lit. So hungry. Medium hot coffee. And then can Anything I also in the coffee? No, thank you. And then can I also get a chicken and roasted pepper wrap? Okay. That's what's up right there, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, sometimes I get carried away. I slowly, slowly, slowly getting faster. Once I start in it's where. Yeah, I haven't drank any of this coffee yet. It's too hot. Why look like a goofy man? He's got it so wide.
cancellation day update. Uh, let's see, it's currently 3.15. We didn't, once, so we woke up at 5.30 this morning. And then as I was about to walk out the door, we got a text message saying the day was canceled. Um, but we didn't go, I really wanted to go back to bed, but we didn't go back to bed. We went and got breakfast, me and Jay and um, Mike Huff and Skylar Hamilton. A few other anglers got breakfast and we've gotten back. Had to do some photo stuff or whatever, and then we've pretty much just sat around, ate some cold refrigerator pizza from last night. But it's currently 3.15 and I've been sitting on this couch for about three hours now. Might go outside and look at the boat some more. Let's see, Jay's out there. So Jay's currently out there. I don't know what he's done. I think he's just so bored that he's just hanging out. Almost there. Yeah, I have no idea what the heck he's done. Maybe we'll check back in with you guys later for our cancellation day. Small mouth on the mind. In second place. Let's go catch some small mouth tomorrow. Well, tomorrow we need to catch 20 pounds of smallmouth bass. That is the goal. I'd like to do what I did yesterday, but we'll see. I mean, I caught that 5.4, which was huge. I don't know if I'll be able to do that again, but uh, yeah, 20 pounds. I mean, if you catch 20 pounds out right here right now, uh, you know, that's a good bag. I mean, the top 15 had 20 pounds, so. If we catch 20, we'll be sitting right where we need to be. Um, four pounders are premium. Yeah, see what happens. The weather's supposed to be a lot better tomorrow. Today was postponed. So we get back after tomorrow, and this tournament goes all the way through Monday. So still got to catch them tomorrow. Still got to catch them Sunday, and then maybe if I make Monday. So we will see. But I know we're going to throw out a lot of big smallmouth. Hopefully they bite. If they don't, you know, it just is what it is. Um, can't make them eat all the time, you know. You can't force them. So throw out enough of them. Hopefully we can get a couple couple big ones to bite, come in with 20 pounds, and uh, get ready for day three. It's still dark outside. It'd be day number three yesterday. It was canceled. Good time going to be cloudy all day today, so we'll see what that does to the fish. I haven't really had a full cloudy day yet in practice, so we will see. Wind's supposed to be so-so. It's going to be bumpy either way. And Blake almost fell in the lake this morning, so we got a good start. Almost. So he didn't actually fully submerge. Just busted up their shit pretty good on a fellow's boat. Oh yeah, we'll see what happens. 20 pounds. Hopefully we can do that. Stay in the top down, that's the plan. Let's go get it. So much on the line, it is day two. On a day that's normally day three on Lake Champlain. But the big movers in this tournament, obviously Jay Shakur, it unofficially, you gotta remember, unofficially, within 27 points of the progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year title. And Alex Redwine, his roommate, right beside him in the top three. But that was just after day one. Why I say it's unofficial? Because those points that you see, Jay has to finish in third to stay within 27 points. But if he can do it, if he can stay anywhere within 30 to 35 points, just imagine it. We're gonna go to the fishery where he got the biggest weight ever, 102 pounds and nine ounces. And he's gonna have a chance to go from winning Rookie of the Year last year and backing it up with Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. It's gonna be a lot of fun to watch. And this is, this is what this time of the season's about. So Jay and Alex, don't screw up the drama today. Day two, top 
Pero es un día. Yes, sir, baby. God, that fish has a big old mouth on it. It's like a large mouth. Look at that. Look at that sucker. He ain't like the the five four I caught yesterday, but that's pretty nice. Oh shoot. That was weird. Way more later, but he's definitely over four pounds. Not that one. There's a big one. That's a good one. Finally. This has got to be more something, I think. He's got the belly. It's a four though, so it's good. Get rid of our stocky guy here. Good fish. I don't know where this fish is here. And that's three. Three and three quarters. Oops. <clears throat> Giants. God, that might be fun. God. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, okay. Okay, he wasn't coming in. Baby Z2. Oh, wow. Yeah. Man, it's been a, it's been a slow morning, but that's a pig. <laughs> Look at the belly on that.
Yeah, that's the train. Give me that. Alright, now we got a good bear. Thanks. Yeah, they're everywhere. That's a big one. There we go. That's what we're talking about right there. Up in the shoe. There we go. Right. I think it's a big one. Couldn't tell he's by himself. Usually those are the big ones. Look at the gut. Look at that. Oh my. I might as well just call me. Heck yeah. Nice. It's a good call. <laughs> You're gonna go catch him? Go catch some big bass. Pretty awesome, huh? <laughs> Doing good. First one in. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun day. How was the how uh, water distance? Uh, it wasn't was bad. No? no, not bad. Not as bad as yesterday. Oh, yeah. The total is the Olympian of the year from Wisconsin. Jason, you're at. Not a problem. 21 pounds in an L. Could you back up the rookie of the year season with angler of the year? Uh, I don't I don't know, man. I mean, everything's going right out there. Feels like I can't do anything wrong. The 21 pounds today, I mean, you know, it was honestly a grind out there. It wasn't easy. Um, I found one school of fish, got right in a hurry. But angler of the year, I mean, obviously we're going back to the St. Lawrence. I don't know what to expect there, to be honest with you. We fished in July. We're going back there now in August. I don't have a ton of experience, but I know I love catching smallmouths, and I know I love New York. Uh, hi, everybody back home watching, and uh, yeah, this is this is pretty special. Okay, but we we'll won't put the cart before the horse, or however that saying goes. <laughs> That's next week, where you could seal the deal on that. 
But you're leading this tournament, and you know you are our Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year. But you've never, I mean, well, yes, you did win an Elite Series title. To go into this final event, a two-time Elite Series, I mean, what would number two mean to you? And how blessed has this last? Oh, man. I mean, I remember your first event in Palatka, yeah. and I've talked about it a lot. Me and your parents had a talk, and they're like, "I'm not sure if he's ready yet, but he got his shot." You were ready. Yeah, yeah I honestly didn't think. I Personally, I didn't think I was ready just because, you know, I didn't know. I mean, I had only fished down south a few times and I wasn't sure, but I just fished my confidence stuff. And, you know, the last year and a half or almost two years now has been nothing but exceptional. I mean, I can't say, you know, with all the sponsors that support me, the family at home, you know, it takes everybody to do this. And uh, yeah, it's been a it's been a super grateful last two years for sure. Can't wait to watch it all go down. Awesome. There's your tournament leaders. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, it was kind of grimy a little bit, but landed on one school of fish and caught him in a hurry, so that was cool. Yeah, it's always good. Yeah, right, I know. Oh, that was a good day. I was hoping for a little more, but won't be too greedy. Don't want to be too greedy out here, otherwise they'll, they'll uh, catch up with me, but I'm happy with it. Touch the butt. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad there wasn't one of those. You could have like, when you fell in the water, you just could have like bear hugged it. Yeah, I'm so upset I don't have footage of that. <laughs> Wait, you didn't? I thought no, you. No, I wasn't running the, the, the whole camera or nothing. You know, like the one time. Yeah, right. I lost some really, like, they were pretty weird. Like, I got it, like one was just like dogging me like just down deep under the boat for like five, five, ten seconds and all of a sudden it just comes off and I was just like, that was just... and then like the next fish like it like jumps once like way out off and like get it next to the boat it jumps and then just comes off and I was just like that's kind of weird and then I just picked up a different rod that jig head or something. That's today's mood. Yeah. Have a nice shower, Alex. Alex is in second, I'm in fifth, and we're ready for day number three. That is all. How are you feeling today? Like poop. Like poop? That's all I know. It's poop. What'd you do, eat the wrong thing last night? I just ate McDonald's. Last night? Right now. Uh oh. Shout out to McDonald's. <laughs> Makes it slide right through here. <laughs> Still waiting on the. Oh, wait. Wait. Hey, there he is. Hopefully, we can get two or three big ones today and get over 22 is the plan. I hope. It's not going to be easy, but it's possible. Um, best weather conditions we've had all week, which is what we've had. It's actually a little bit breezy this morning, but hopefully that kind of lays down a little bit, and then we can uh, get out there and start whacking on some big smallies. So, yeah, the goal is over 21 today, and hopefully make the top 10, and then. Uh, go from there but top 10 in this tournament would be huge not only for points but leading into the St. Lawrence because now we only get two days of practice for the St. Lawrence so that kind of changed things up quite a bit and yeah I mean it's kind of crazy because Alex is in second and I'm in fifth and we're only like not even a pound away from each other uh, I don't know it's just pretty neat to kind of have it all come together and us be you know both right there uh it's pretty cool so hopefully it continues today and uh we both make that top 10. two minutes away from officially kicking off semi-final sunday the top 50 remain and we got to whittle it down to the top 10. the top 10 make it on to championship monday for the eighth stop of the 2023 bassmaster elite series the dakota lithium bassmaster elite at lake champlain and we are a minute and a half away from takeoff.
realize how far we drifted with these fish. <laughs> We've gone a long way. This might be a better one. What we got here? like a three pounder. Oh, well, no, that's pretty nice. He's, he's not, well, no, it's like three and a half probably. Yeah. No, no. Honestly, which one of my smallest one is? Time to wear. difficult in the waves. shoulders on that. That was a 323, I think. That one should help. I 
feel like, I feel like, I feel like Mike, Jordan, give me the rock and I'm scoring. Hey, came from the bottom, that's foreign. I swear that I'm up for the sun in the morning. Hey, I got a flex. I need a Nike bag, give me the check. I need the money and the power step, but I promise I'm repping the oak to the dead. Hey, I put them out of my way. I don't got nothing to say. Have to call a three three forty eight. Yeah, he's sorry. Right. I feel like I feel like I feel like my Yeah, he definitely helps. Give me the rock and I'm scoring. Hey, came from the bottom and I swore and I swore that I'm up for the sun in the morning. Hey, I got a flex. I need a Nike bag, give me the check. I need a money and power respect, but I promise I'm repping up to the day. Yeah. That's one of the ones. You would think, ain't it? It looks like a four. Kind of. Oh yeah, that's a four. Uh, it's like, yeah, like a four one. Finally found that damn school. Oops, I wasn't supposed to say that. Right now. We finally found a school of them. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Let's see.
God, I don't know. <laughs> Mike, Jordan, give me the rock and I'm scoring. Hey, came from the bottom, that's for the total of the rookie in the year, Jake Sigurak. Five is 20 pounds on 11 ounces. Anytime you catch 20 pounds, especially on Lake Champlain, uh, it was pretty awesome. I mean, I love dropping on these fish out here. There's so many different, you know, schools of fish. I can't believe, you know, you pull up on a school of fish and there's 30, 40 smallmouth in one school. It's actually pretty ridiculous. We don't have much like this at home, so I love fishing, you know, this time of the year and at Lake Champlain. What's going through your head? Feel pretty good. Just getting some new leaders tied on for tomorrow. I don't know. It just comes down to getting the right bites, is all it really comes down to. I got some right bites today, but they're just all the same. Same size. A lot of four. Four to four and a quarter. Never had anything over four and a quarter. So tomorrow, hopefully, we can put some four and a halves in the boat. Get five of those and catch 22. That's the plan for tomorrow. But yeah, other than that, we just caught a lot of the same old, same old today. A lot of threes. Lots of those. Couldn't get away from the threes. Which isn't the worst thing in the world, but... Out here, you kind of want the bigger fish. And we got a cluster going on in here. <laughs> got any wise words for Jay and Alex, Justin? I know what he's throwing. Y'all better catch big ones no, tomorrow. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, I do, actually. He's, either th he's throwing something moving. It's probably either something with like a... I'm going to guess it's either something with like an underspin or... A Demiki rig or something like that. Mm, did you watch me fish or something to know that it's something moving, or you just feel like that's no, something I just feel different? Like that's the thing. I can't catch any on a drop shot, so. Yeah. No, they're just eating bait. They like to feed up. Yeah, that's, I mean. I'm coming, buddy. Ethan. I'm getting your cooler. Huh? Come here, explain to Ju Come here, explain to Justin what you did today. What, what I did today? Yeah. What do you mean? He wants to know if he heard correctly about what you did today. You ran 12 miles? Oh, yeah. I didn't run 12 miles in my boat. No, I, I just kind of <laughs> like... <laughs> I, I kind of just... Well, he just... Yeah. I, 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 felt, I, I felt just a little bit different today. I don't know. I went out... <laughs> I've never woke up feeling I different, different than the fact that I wanted to go ruin. Well, I was like... I was like, well, I kind of feel like running, and then... I just <laughs> okay forced. <laughs> <laughs> One day I just felt like running. What? I woke up Four this years morning. later. I was just still I, running. I woke up this morning and I felt like running. And next thing I knew, I was across the lake. <laughs> but like, I, I just started going. I was like, you know what? I feel pretty good. Like, so do you I, run twelve like every day? No. How far do you run when you normally go running? Five or six, probably. Oh, <laughs> but 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 and how long? What do you mean? Well, like how, how long, long does, does five or six take you? Uh, anywhere from thirty-five to forty-five minutes, depending. Like if it's five, it's like thirty-five, thirty-six. If it's what? six, then it's like forty-two to forty-five. Are you serious? So you run it at like nine miles really? an hour? I don't know. I just go by the pace. So like, well, I mean, today that's still it's fast. Like, so today, see. today I averaged a, a seven twenty six. What six? I was gonna say at six miles an hour, you're running ten minutes. Shot, you know? Oh yeah. But I I got like two normal A plus runners takes them an hour to run six miles. So you're next level. Well, I, the other day I was like going down the road somewhere over there and like I saw the sign that there was trails oh, yeah. just there, uh, and then like that day I just, I was like, oh, good to know. I'll probably come back. And then today I was like, you know what? <laughs> yeah. I was like, you know what? I, I feel pretty good. Like I'm going to give her a little bit. 
and then I was like, let's go check out the trails. And then next thing I know, I was like running down to this beach through the woods. And then like I ran through another section of woods and then I ended up down this dead end road that was just surrounded by cornfields. So you just struck out through the corn. <laughs> so I just <laughs> kept going. I don't know, we're gonna see what happens. Yesterday we had a I'd consider it a good day. I mean, I didn't catch any giants, but I had, you know, close to 21 pounds, so you can't complain with that. Uh, today, hopefully, we can catch some of those, you know, five plus pounders. I don't know, you never know. Uh, it's Champlain, there's a lot of the same size fish. You kind of got to get a little bit lucky to catch that, you know, upper four pound fish out here. But uh, it's pretty cool that he's not here right now, but Alex is like, I don't know, five ounces ahead of me sitting in fourth. I'm in fifth. So hopefully we can both move up a little bit in this tournament and head to the St. Lawrence. But either way, this has been pretty neat, you know, staying together, rooming together. And, you know, next thing you know, we're neck and neck, you know, close, you know, close to the lead for this tournament. Uh, you know, we shared a bunch of information for this tournament. It, it's just cool. It, it's cool that it all worked out like this and uh, looking forward to the day. Uh, we've had south winds for the last three days, so I feel like the fish are definitely going to move. They're probably going to move a little bit on the break that I was fishing. I just got to relocate the bait and then hopefully relocate the fish. And then the problem is getting them to bite. Uh, they've been getting a little smart the last couple days, so might have to pull a couple tricks on them today to get them to eat. Looking forward to seeing those tricks on Bass Live. You've been watching all the day long. It looks pretty fat. Just can't never judge them, you know. Could be four, could be four, could be four and a half, could be three and three quarters, could be three and a half. Yeah, he's not that big. Three and three quarters, probably. Well, he could be four. I think. Fat. We'll just see. Yeah. Three and three quarters. And then that other one's like a th three, probably. Yeah, it is a fat one. Tell you one thing, it's a heck of a lot better than this one right here. <laughs> I don't know. 
know if this one's gonna help or not. But. He's a fighter. Jeez. Wow. You'd have thought he was five pounds. Holy moly. Get up here, buddy. He's fat. There we go. Been a slow day. Thanks. Nice. Dang it. That one feels better. I think we might have a big one. Yep. Come on, we gotta get back on the school. Feels like a big one. Oh yeah, baby. Let's go. She came over here sooner. Came out. It's got to be close. You know, today was a struggle for me. I really didn't, I never really got, you know, in the rhythm of catching the bigger fish. I caught, you know, a decent amount of fish today. I felt like they were grouped up pretty good today when the sun came out in the afternoon, but uh, just never got on those four pounders, dang. Uh, but shout out to my roommate. This is his first top 10 this week. Very happy for him. Uh, this is my second top 10 this year, so this is pretty awesome. I don't take these moments for granted because I know I'm fishing against the best guys, you know, in the entire world. I mean, it, it goes to show you, if you don't catch 20 pounds today, you're not gonna move up. And you know, I didn't I didn't completely do my job today, but I felt like I had a pretty good day. But uh, hi to everyone back home watching. Hi to everyone in the crowd. Thank you for coming out. And uh, I'm ready to get to the St. Lawrence. Before you get there, you got a lot. I mean, you only have a three-hour drive, but uh, I hope you spend a little time thinking because 
We got to see how you shake out all, just to get exact on points. But it looks like you're going to rule into that event with a legit shot at backing up your Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year with a progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year title. 30 some points you're going to be behind. And man, we saw what you did there last year. And we also saw that it you can catch them at the St. Lawrence River and and not catch them in the tournament. What I mean is like weight wise, you catch 20 pounds a day and you didn't make the cut last year. So how are we feeling about our chances? I don't know. I mean, I looked at the forecast. It's not looking the greatest. Uh, obviously, I want to go out to the big water. That's what I love to do. Uh, go bounce around in the waves, you know, hopefully catch 25 a day like I did last year. But uh, it's going to be a lot different. It's going to be a lot different, but I'm looking forward to it. Two days of practice, try and find the five pounders, and uh, we'll see what happens. Can't wait to watch it go down. Going to be an exciting conclusion.